follow law like the invaders. And those invaders came in with all that bad teaching. Solomon did the same thing. Stop following bad law. So, so there's no such thing as easy, but I want to say that. But we use it as a point of reference because it was colonialism. No different than no different than Elizabeth City in uh, Tanzania, right? It, they named it that because of who was taken over. So colonialism gave it that name. So we'll say Egypt preference, but I want you to understand there's no such thing as Egypt. That's really an insult to the Phoenician people. <laughs> it's an insult to Kush. It's an insult to uh, Sudan and all of those individuals. That, that's an insult. But since we are under oppression. Those that oppress us sought to rename something for their own purposes. Mm -hmm. And I may, they may can get it over on uh, us, but they couldn't get it over on our grandparents. So what they end up doing was they killed out a massive amount of people. Mm -hmm. And we'll kill even the kids two and below on one in one area. They did that several centuries where they was doing that. And then when they got here, they're, they're still doing the same thing, they're killing our young males. Killing generations uh, when they got when they came over from uh, the ship that they put us in. A lot of us come from North, East, and Northwest Africa. That's no mistake. Took the, the boats. We we had already built the boats. We were already traveling here <laughs> at that time. Five hundred to to uh, almost a million years. We've been going back and forth because we established these places. So when you hear this, when you hear this, you ain't did nothing. All you do is look up. Look at the light. You invented that. <laughs> Look at the seat. You invented that. You invented the bicycle. Did you know uh, King Tut had a bicycle? Mm -hmm. He had a, he had slippers autographed to him. The artist made. They had uh, things such as cars, steam engines. You can search that in history. There's nothing I'm saying. You can go and search all of that. But it was important for them to detach us. Yeah. See, one thing about the late 60s and early 70s, we yeah. had some knowledge. We knew who we were. We had some knowledge. Then you had Chase Diop, and you had Adam Clayton Powell, you had Malcolm X, you had Martin Luther King. They were teaching us the knowledge of ourselves, the knowledge of our people. When these people had, uh, were taken from us, I say that because they were taken, taken from us. Prior to that, the older generations had been killed out. This is their what, what would have been their their uh, parents, excuse me, their grandparents. That generation's grandparents had taught us. Those people were wiped out, so they had to go back in the channels of history and rewind. Mm -hmm. When they got you, got you here on the ship, you already knew people here. So they had to kill out those people from, from uh, I believe it was some 70 years. No, no, it was, it was 100 years to nine. Mm -hmm. They had to wipe all those people out of history when they transported us here. They wiped all those people out. Now that leaves you with children that knew science because they knew how to deliver babies. They knew how to do operations such as moving, removing tumors. They knew about the healing plant and all of that, right? That was nothing new. When Jesus healed by the mares, he took some clay, right? Better not clay. They said spittle because he spit in the clay that was full of eyes. He put it on by the mares' eyes. He was able to take the glaucoma off by the mares' eyes. He was also able to shrink the effects of uh, cataract, maybe to a strength effect. So, so he put that on bottom air. He said, how do you see people? Bottom air said, oh, I see people like trees right now. In other <laughs> words, my vision is coming into view, but but not not quite. Then he said, hold on a minute. Let me rub this. Now how do you see 